Hello everybody and welcome to part 3 of my Skaven campaign as Lord Skrulk. As you remember last time we had uh, just pushed up, let's show my ownership on this map. And we just uh, pushed in and taken a couple of ruins over here. We've got a couple more I want to take as, as soon as time gets there. However I'm having a bit of problems dealing with this last uh, settlement from this Lizardmen faction. So uh, I'm bringing Lord Skrulk back up to deal with this. I uh, can start getting onto my second uh, tech, which will increase increase my uh, growth and uh, reduce recruitment costs for various units. And then we've got some nice ones coming up: extra leadership, uh, plus free loyalty for new units, more public order, uh, movement range, and then hero recruitment. Obviously, I might well start on other bits before we get there. Right, let's end turn and start uh, moving up. Now these dwarfs have come out, and I do want to pay attention to them because. Uh, I'm, I am I think Dwarves will be quite good at fighting against Skaven, um, but also they don't like me and I think they have a cultural aversion to Skaven, though they're also attacking the Lizardmen. Interesting. So they might deal with them for me, which would be an interesting... Uh... The Altar of the Horned Rat conceals many dark secrets, mighty lord. Yet its latent power is exploited by a rival clan for their own ends. Much warp stone they are said to have found there. Seizing the altar would no doubt lead to war amongst your own kind. Yet the warp stone must be yours. Prepare for an attack. Okay, so he wants me to go to war to uh, capture this. However, I might have another Come way to do speak. this. Let's talk about the no, not oh, yet. God. Um because our powers are too equal. Um, I'm not in a position to go to war with them just yet, even really, because, uh, well, hmm. You could move up here and build, rebuild up this army and be ready to go to war with them. However, I want to make sure these guys are dealt with first. Right, these guys are still in double time, so they can't uh, go forward yet. Let's uh, up this settlement. And I am good for now, so let's end turn. We are, are slowly building up our food stocks as well again, so uh, that's always good. I want to try and keep that food stock as high as possible. <laughs> Bring me tribute gifts and what does he want? I'm not going to go for a military alliance with you, simply because I might have to go to war with you sometime soon. But again, I am Skaven. Skaven backstab each other. Nobody's going to be surprised when I do it. One of your subordinates shows questionable devotion. To okay, I thought he'd uh, come up last time. So his uh, I don't get why they're saying he's got questionable loyalty because it his loyalty is absolutely I fine. I am the plague lord. Let's move him forward and get a bit more recruitment done. Get some uh, clan rats with shields. Let's up my main settlement here. This is still on a negative, so actually let's get the second settlement so I can start getting the public order bonuses. And we're doing okay here. Here I do want to start paying attention. I want to keep paying attention to the uh, Skaven corruption because it does have negative effects as well as positive. I'm in a bit of an odd situation here because I really want to start pushing and advancing, but I'm not necessarily in a position where I can really do I it can just yet. The pestilence this... No, I'm not joining your war. We've had this discussion. Greetings, you seek a plague lord. So what do the vampires want? They want a defensive alliance. I tell you what, I'll do that if you give me a trade agreement. Okay, that completes one of my missions. And we have the Pox Cauldron, which allows me to do my first uh, battle. Mission aborted? Why has that been aborted? You 
not here, here with my permission. Hmm. Right, I'm going to pop a quick save in here. Because we've got my, uh, I've got to perform the pestilence scheme. I need a pestilence knave then, next. So how do I build a pestilence knave? Where is the pestilence knave? That's the next level up of this. That's a little annoying for my uh, main quest, so I've got to keep building buildings for now. So, uh, I don't necessarily want to attack while the dwarfs are there. Those dwarfs are probably going to do my job for me. So I'm actually going to start double timing this army back down here to uh, help secure these lands. Rest super, my brethren! Can I actually recruit any heroes yet? I don't think I can. I generally try and keep at least one hero, certainly my main armies. However, I'm going to start swapping a few units around now. Because I've got clan rats with shields, which are generally that little bit better. And eventually we'll get to storm vermin. I'm also going to pop out a couple of units of uh, wind poison globe deers soon as well. Um, in fact, let's compare them. So they don't have as much range, but they do do a lot more damage. Uh, they don't do poison. Uh, no, they do do poison wind globes. Oh wait, lethal warpstone gas. It's larger than a target surface. So they don't actually poison them, they just do a lot of damage. And they've got good armour as well. And they are good for anti-large. So I will probably push out a few of them soon. Deal with us, us, or fight us. Yeah, <laughs> that's not happening, mate. Oof, and the dwarfs have taken that settlement, so, um, I did not want that to happen, actually. Uh, however, it does complete my mission. That's my tech completed as well, and Skrulk has, uh, increased that, uh, stat. Hmm. I'm going to leave the dwarfs alone for the moment, which means I'm probably actually going to uh, push into war with the other Skaven clan now then. So let's uh, push up to the border with both of my forces. Let's get out some extra plague monks to this army. They have less armour, but they've got high leadership. And they do quite good attack and they frenzy. Which, and uh, what does a frenzy do? So, frenzy, uh. They do more damage while their leadership is high. So, these are my, uh, units to get around the back of people. So, while, they're, while they've got that high leadership to really push things through. Tribute gifts. Yes, Mr. Hellkeep. Keep. Nope, not happening unless you want to confederate with me. Let's uh, break my defensive alliance. Oh. Yep. Cancelling my defensive treaty with them. Before I go to war with them. I'm I'm on, on honourable for Skaven, yes, yes. 
Actually, I move my armies onto the border first. I have seen your, your name listed in the Liber Bubonicus. Yes, yes. Everybody wants me to uh, go to war with these guys. I, I don't want to go to war with them. Not yet. <laughs> Fighting lizard men is painful. I'd prefer to do with those, deal with those elf things at the bottom. Okay, so, sorry, I thought it was still the end turn there. So we are almost in position to attack. Let's get one more unit of monks for you. Let's get you another unit of slingers, so you're up to four. And... Let's get you some some uh, Skaven, a couple, at least a couple of units of Skaven slave spears, just in, in case. Don't think I'm going to need them, but it's always better to have them and not need them. Oh, the elves look to be expanding, so I really do want to start pushing down and dealing with them. It's probably going to be straight after I've dealt with the Ultra of the Horned Rat. I'll probably uh, move down a second army to deal with them. Many boxes, I you know what do the vampires want? No, I'm still not joining your damn war. Okay, and now it is time. Oh, they, they have... Clan Eshin as an ally, who I don't actually know where are. Okay, let's encircle and bring up my second army. Which makes this a very easy auto resolve. Reap for pestilence! Spare me! I, I show warp stone. Occupying that gives me a lot of extra My food there, which puts me up to the max level. And I probably should have used some uh, food to up that. Great, great victory. Good, good. Leveled up again. I do need another spell, so I'm going to grab the Vermintide simply so I've got it, so I can move on to the next set of spells. I'm going to go straight into Musket Fear, because that's a map-wide buff, and then we're going to push on to the Ultra of the Horned Rat next turn. Start pushing out some more food. And as always, hmm. I'm going to have a little think because, uh, yeah, with that place's position, I'm going to start giving it walls and extra defences just in case. Right, I really want to go and deal with those guys before they start expanding too much, especially if they're now expanding into territories I was wanting to take. And the dwarfs are expanding as well quite a bit down there, so um, I do want to pay attention to them, because again, they, are, they don't like me, they will probably go to war with me at some point, so... Uh, Ready! Can you I get a non-aggression pact from there? They do not the like me, in such a manner. and they are not liking me even more, so, uh, <laughs> yes. <to> rats. <laughs> Let's keep pushing these two armies forwards. This place is in positive now. This place is positive. The thing these guys do have, however, is they're obviously getting the Skaven corruption, which is going to start affecting their, uh, Happiness too. Right, 
to this gold mining pit there, which uh, is uh, straight up good for income. Right, our income is actually getting a little low now, so I want to pay attention to that. I want to start pushing that up if I can, while I deal with the other factions, and they have a big army down there. You have a choice. You can confederate or die. Nope, not accepting a peace treaty. I want your main settlement. A scheme of great and terrible destruction has been concocted by your devious engineers, my lord. So Clan Eshin have been destroyed, and I have unlocked the scheme of doom. And I've I completed that technology. I'm going to go for the campaign movement range first, and then both of those, because they're both useful, it just depends on the order. So this gives me a doom engineer, who uh, basically he can uh, cause catastrophic earthquake at a faction's um, at, at an enemy city which completely devastates the walls. Seek out plague. Okay, so let's Fight continue the siege. Let's bring up my other army behind. Let's make it a it's going to be a fun fight, that's for sure, when we do it. However, I do have to be careful, because they could sally out and get an ambush against one of my armies, which would not actually be all that good. Yeah, I want to pay attention to those elves, because if they were to go to war with me now, I would have to pull off my current to break off from my current attack. And now, you see, they have a... Uh, managed to ambush me and I'll have six menace from below so I'm actually gonna buff that up that'll do so I've got potential 10 use I don't think I'll need 10 I'm gonna leave that at 8 uh, which will really benefit me um, I'm not gonna get reinforcements here and I think he is so this this battle might not go well guys because he could have twice my force so uh Lord Skrulk, it's up to you. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a tough fight potentially. Um, not saying I won't win, I'm not saying I've not got a chance of winning, but I've also got a good chance of losing here. Um, so maybe I shouldn't have put Lord Skrulk in first. And this is one of the really nasty things about Skaven, is they get this ability to ambush. And even when you're, you know, playing later on, I mean, I've had it with my lizard men where I've been a I've, I've had two strong armies together and they've attacked one of them and got that ambush off which means that my army that I only have the benefit of one of my armies and has led to some of the best fights I've had in this game so far so uh, we shall see how this goes Okay, so uh, my Skaven are uh, walking along in a nice, orderly, very Skaven-like procession here. Because Skaven are very, as everybody knows, they are well known for their their order and loyalty. And uh, yeah, so these guys, you can see, they're going to have reinforcements coming in from over here. Uh, so I want to turn and smash this army as quickly as possible. There is no subtle here, I am just charging.
Let's get my charge off. They are gonna... These guys are mostly spears, which is good, because my guys will uh, hopefully really eat through those spears. I'm going to keep a couple of units of spears back here as well. Let's get some uh, more clan rats out. Okay, so we are already breaking them. Okay, they did actually have people in these woods who came out after me. Let's overcast this and really smash through these guys. Come on. Nice. Buff these guys up down here. And let's pop another Vermin Tide up here to help these guys. Okay, my uh, Plague Monk Sensor Bearers are getting a little bit overwhelmed here, so I want to try and pull some units off to head towards them. Let's get Skrulk involved as well. Okay, that is nice, being able to pull out these guys so quickly with, with, with two. So actually I could have used more as well. Right, now this is going to get bad. Oh my god, they've got a Hell Pit Abomination. Okay guys, this is not good. I am completely engaged. I am going to lose my Plague Core Catapults. Buff him up and start charging him down. This is not going well. Some of my units are starting to break as well, however that did help. I'm going to start getting some of these guys down here. Going. They are breaking, some of them are routing completely. Let's start pulling my plague monks back down as well. Come on, get those plague claws out of there. Oh, that is my spears done. That is not good. I need to take him out fast. Right, you guys really need to start getting down and in. Do I have anybody free up here? Yes. Come on, Plague Monks. You guys keep hitting that guy. I wish I had my Warp Lightning guy here. They're starting to suffer over here now. pretty much out of magic and they are still hammering in. Ok 
Come on, Scroll Cake. These guys are still all heavily engaged. This is the problem. Without my second army to back me up, I am really struggling here. Get myself some more clan rats out. deal with that I can pull this around. Let's chuck a buff on these guys. What are you not doing in there? You can start hammering that. That's it, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. Now it, it's it's no longer time for subtlety. Let's just start hammering them. Let's get these guys on this. Where are these guys ranged? Let's pop these guys in behind. Ooh. Come on, break them! Come on, scroll. You can get into. This is it, the break is happening, they are routed, starting to route. You can start chasing there. Oh, oh he's coming back. This does buff my reserve, so I do get get stuff back. Hit those night runners, guys. God, oh, this battle is so damn messy. Oh God, no! Run, run! Right, they are completely shattered. Oh! That was not an easy fight, guys. Um, I don't think I deserve that victory in the slightest. I got over-engaged at the start, and then the other army... I, I don't know how I managed to break that other army off. Um... All I can say is some of those spells used were good and their, their warp lightnings missed me. Um, that hell pit abomination, I was not expecting to see at that, this point in the game. Um, and that took up four or five of my units to deal with. And I think I just got lucky with Chain Route. If they'd got to me 30 seconds earlier, I think I would have been completely overwhelmed. I'd have lost my Plague Claw Catapult and they would have shredded me. Um, but as it is, some of my units, some of those plague monks, they 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 earned their they earned their bread today. Uh, Hundred kills, you know, plus kills each, as well, well as some of my clan rats, and Skrog himself. So they really were pushing on that damage and those those victories. They they saved my skin. Um, I that was a hard fight. <laughs> So yes, we'll uh, keep pushing against these guys. We we want to get to the uh, altar of the Great Horner at, or is that what it's called? Yes, we want to get that captured and that uh, re ritual resource site as soon as we can. Now, they have just burnt a chunk of their army off against me. However, as you can see, they still have a reasonable amount of health in each unit, even though they broke um, and. I've taken, while I've not taken as much damage, I've still taken damage. Um, however, I do have the second army to back me up. 
but they could do another ambush next term and I would be in the same situation with with less of an army uh, and they would still potentially be able to push out an army which is much bigger than mine well just have a look see if I can get that auto resolve off next turn um, to finish off that town though I've got a feeling I'm not going to be able to come on loading screen why are you taking longer today okay I am going to uh, oh, I only get 3% replenishment I'm still going to do it I, I need that little bit even that tiny little bit of replenishment there will really help me Okay, let's give him the offer one more time. I eat you all off. Confederate. Nope. Stop now. Bring death, this is now an easy auto result, so I am gonna do it. Um I only lost one unit of clan rats. And I am going to spell and spend some food upgrading this settlement straight yeah, out. It's only minus hard. 30 for this turn, thankfully, uh, due to the colonisation. Clan Spittle has been destroyed. Let's so get the Warpstone Quarry straight away. What's the second level of it do, actually? It's always nice. They generally give nice defensive bonuses. So that's why they had the uh, help it abomination there. Um, let's have a look what I want. Hmm. I'm going to go for the defences to start with, again I can always change that later, so I know I need, the mo I need the money at the moment, so I'm going to go for something economic. And we have levelled up again, so let's go to evasion and then we we'll start, can start on our second set. Now we do, I believe, have a few other items, so we've got this armour which gives me a that's nice. We do, have, do we have any other items at the moment? So we've got this potion, which I don't really need to him. That's good. It's a nice regeneration, but I can also get a fireball ability. I might give the uh, other one to my other, to my other lord. So you can get the fireball, and that's everything for him at the moment. And uh, with that, guys, I am going to be ending this section, section here. So, uh, again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that uh, battle. It was certainly an interesting one, uh, very different than before. Um, I will be uh, getting another one of this up as soon as I can. However, I am also going to be focusing on... My, I've, I've got my Lizardman campaign, which is my main campaign at the moment. So most of my focus is going on that. Once that is finished, I will move my main focus over to this. So these ones might be a little bit slower coming out than my lizard men than my lizard men videos for the moment uh again thank you very much for watching please 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 if you do have any feedback please feel free to give it to me i am very new at this um just try and keep it construction construction constructive thank you very much for watching